going to set this up, this bag, right here, as my War Binder Creative Journal bag. So, I need to go through it because there's some stuff in here that I don't want to keep. So I'm going to keep my Stampin' Mist and my scissors and some, um, what do you call it, glue, glue stick, and a stamp block. Okay, I got that in there. This, I think I'm not going to keep. This is the Erin Condren box, but I don't really need another box. Although I do have a lot of stuff in it, but I have something else in mind for that. And then I think I'll just put the box in a thrift store box. I have some... Um, this came from my Flow magazine. Just a workbook um, paste, write, draw journal, but I think maybe I can get ideas out of it or something, or cut little doodly bits out of it, or, I don't know. Hope is the thing with feathers that pierces in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. Okay. Alright, so that, I don't need to keep in there. Here's another magazine of stuff that I, I, I go through magazines and just cut out. There's... Um, the current holiday Stampin' Up! catalog. And Country Door. Oh, that's a catalog. There's some stuff out of there I want. I don't know why I put all of these in there. Flea Market Style. A bunch of magazines. My Flow Magazines. I love Flow Magazines. They always have so much you can cut out or just lots of ideas and really cool. I love my Flow magazine. Hint, hint, I would love a subscription to that. That is trash. Okay. Then I have, let's see. I want to keep some of my stickers in here. I'm not going to keep all these journals in here. Um, I might keep things in there. I don't know. There's some more sticker pad and some more watercolors. No, these are, are these watercolors? Yeah, these are watercolors. I think they're watercolors. Okay. Then I have a corner rounder and a tape runner. I'm going to put the tape runner and the corner rounder over here in the tool pocket. And then I have some pens. Um, I just keep in here. I have my pencil bags. And I have some ink blocks. Um, there's a fresh fig from Stampin' Up. And then these are from Ranger. Um, I cannot see the color on them. Shadow Gray. This one is coffee. And this one is jet black. So, just basic colors that I can use to Stamp letters or something on. Okay, so I know I want to put my bullet journal in the bag, and I want to put my creative memory journal in the bag. I know I want those in there because I'm going to be using those a lot. And I have this envelope where I put like more sticker books, little cut up, cut apart cards, little piece of vellum, a little, these I get sent from Allie Edwards I guess, like I'm in her um, story card class, I get a kit once a month from her, and so I use these little pocket envelopes and I just keep little die cuts and stuff in them. So, stuff that I could maybe put into a creative journal or... Alright, so, keep that. And I have... Um, that's kind of too big to put into a journal. Little cards, find your tribe, love them hard. Some chipboard pieces. Puffy heart stickers. Alphabet stamps. A little 
decal kale yeah some little enamel dots some letter D's this came from a paper pumpkin kit so might as well just pull out the little pieces I think all the little pieces and I don't need to keep the rest although it'd be a good little template for a stencil or something but I don't need to keep it all if I kept it all man so we're gonna put the, these little pieces into here Whoop. and I'm dropping them everywhere I like to work in my bed at night when I'm doing this, so I just, there's a little sticker, some little pieces of scrap paper, another little sticker, I'll put all these little bits into here, because you never know when you might need them, and we'll put these stickers in there, and these stickers in here and then well that's it yep okay there's another little sticker what did I do with those enamel dots those are fitting in too okay there so we got that filled up okay so we're gonna put this back in oh goodness look at that there's still more in here There's another pair of scissors. Put those in there. And there's some washi. And it says family. I'm going to put these in the little envelope. No, no, no. There's a little juvie in the way. I don't need a little journey in the way. Don't knock down my camera. We'll put those in here. We'll put these in here. And we'll put this sticker in here. It's a lot of it's sticky. Hey. What are we barking at? Shush. Hope. Okay. So I know I use that a lot. I know I'll use the cut aparts. I know I use the sticker pads. Quite a bit I use the sticker pads. I don't really need the vellum right there. I use the stamps. Um another sticker pad. Okay. So we're gonna put the sticker pads and stuff in there. I'll throw that in there. And then this is gonna be zipped up. And we're gonna put that in there like because we use that a lot. And then I think for my watercolors, these are acrylic paints. These are watercolors. But I think they're going to go in my Rascog cart because I use them sometimes, but I don't use them all the time. So this is it so far. Then I have my pencil bag here. Which I have like my markers. These are all my tools. So I have Faber Castell. These are paint markers. They're pretty cool. They work pretty good. I have my Micron pins. Um, this is a, a what's that brand? Food and Nosuki. Fudenosuke pen, which is a really fine line, a fine tip pen. I like these. Different colors. Um, I have Faber Castell. This is a midliner highlighter. And some more food oh food food and no suki. I don't know what they're called, but 
Anyways, I have my different pens. My favorite writing pen, one of my favorite writing pens, is this Pilot, which I cannot read it because it's in Japanese. And I love the Pilot G2 pens. And I don't know if I have one in here. Another Pilot pen. Between my Pilot pens and my Sarasa pens. Oh, and I also have my whiteout. Because you never know. When are you need whiteout? But that's mostly my markers and my writing pens. So, I will put that in here. If I can fit it. It will fit. Okay, maybe if we put this. And then that with that, and then we can put this up there. Okay. I will put the creative journal up front here, and we'll put this in the back here. There. Okay. And that's really all I need to do my journaling. So, I have another pencil bag here, but it's mostly just plain plain old pens, my pen collection of different sorts. I guess I could put some in here that I like to use. Um, some of my writing pens. I got some gel pens. Just a little bit of everything. A little triangle pen markers of my wicked pen and a broken pen I'll put that one in there too okay there we go this can go on the rack card cart too okay everything else my bag is set up um Except for like my books and my Bible and stuff like that. But it has everything in what I usually use to do my creative journaling and my my um, scripture writing and stuff like that is in there. So except for my books. My books don't go in there. But it's okay. Alright. Well. Okay. So here is my war binder setup. So, this is my journal cover for it, which I found it Tuesday morning, and I like it. It has, like, lots of little elastic bands in it. So, in my war binder, I have a notebook for everyday journaling, my creative journaling, and then I have, this is for scripture, copying, copying down my favorite verses. This is for devotions and notes like sermon notes and stuff um yeah this one is for prayers and like i'm missing one nope scripture notes and prayers and creative journaling so this is my creative journaling i'm working on my cover so far it's using up scraps of paper in various lengths of strips and stuff and I will cover up this whole front of the cover. I don't know if I'll do the same to the back or not but at least I'll do the front and um, I'm going to do like Kelsey Lee does on Abiding Faith and cover it with, I think she uses like packaging tape to make it like laminated kind of. Okay. But anyways, these are some of my, I've done this for two weeks now, every day. I have not missed a day. So sometimes I add pictures and stickers and washi tape, um, little bits and pieces of paper pumpkins, more stickers, photos uh, that I print out from my Canon selfie. So um, these are like, it's a 12 by 12 sticker sheet that's like full of tags and stuff so I just used one for a whole week so I did a double spread for every day 
using one of these little tags. Added some stickers. Um, cut things out of magazines. So there's a glare on it. Anything is possible. These are some puffy stickers that like they're puffed up. They're, they're foam dotted on the back. The stickers were. So but it's cool. I like it. Um, this was a weight loss. Um, I'm always hungry, but I still have to eat well. Drink up scales and you got this. And then this was a poem that I found. It was on the back of somebody's shirt the other day in the DMV. And I said, you know what? I really like the poem on the back of your shirt. Can I take a picture of it? And she let me take a picture of it. And I told her it just, uh, the words on it were just awesome. And I really needed them because I'm getting ready to run a 5K on October 12th. So it says, if you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you'd like to win but think you can't, it's almost a cinch you won't. If you think you'll lose, you've lost for at for at something in the world you find. Success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state state of your mind. Blech. Full many a race is lost ere ever a step is run, and many cowards fall ere ever has work begun. Begin. Think big and your deeds will grow. Think small and you'll fall behind. Think that you can and you will. It's all in the state of your mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is the fellow who thinks he can. I just like that poem. I've never heard it before. It just meant a lot to me because I've been kind of like, I haven't ran a race for two years now and I'm kind of nervous. But I'm going to go out there and do my best, sore feet and all, and see how I do. And this was today's journal entry. This was like on a calendar page that I cut up and I really liked it. That's enough today and for today, especially when I almost spilled a whole bottle of art glitter, glitter glue all over my pajamas so yeah that's enough today for today